Hey, good morning. This is the Grumpy Neanderthal. I'm going to give you a little review on the crab gear that I use uh, down here in South Louisiana. We fish, you know, in the coastal areas, uh, in the wildlife reserves, and uh, along piers and wharfs and water control structures, and sometimes just along the side of the road on a, on a bayou that contains crabs. Um, a lot of different ways to catch crabs. Not very intelligent animals. Pretty easy to catch, but if you're trying to get a pretty good group, you know, six to ten dozen crabs together for a decent crab ball for the family, then you got to have gear that will help you get it done quickly as possible. And uh, that's this is after years of crabbing uh, what I've come to the point that I find is the most effective. This first uh, device here is called a crab grabber. It's designed and uh, manufactured by a gentleman, Mr. Loudensbury out of New Iberia, Louisiana. He has a Facebook page called Crab Grabber and he sells these as a retirement uh, income for him. And many people have made these things over the years, just crudely, a lot of times you make them on site sometimes, but uh, he's kind of brought this to an art. It's really a pretty beautiful piece made out of nice hardwood, uh, so it won't grow rot or anything like that. Nice heavy bank line, puts a nice heavy swivel on it, and he's got the bank line uh, clamped with this uh, copper um, clamp here. Now I added the... Uh, he makes this clothespin bait holder out of some type of a welding wire, I believe. And I added the lead, lead ball weight on here just to help it get down to the bottom. Sometimes we're fishing in current and it's nice to be able to get your bait where you want it. But this is a simple clothespin type device. You just open it up, uh, slide your bait on there. We use turkey necks, chicken legs, uh, melt, which is a cow belly, cut up into pieces, any kind of meat that has a scent to it will work pretty well. Fish, I mean sometimes I use my crab net, catch mullet, uh, things like that, and we'll just uh, cut those in pieces and, and stab them on here. So it's, crabs aren't very particular. They'll eat pretty much anything you have. These are nice because when you're finished you can just undo them, slide off the bait, rinse them a little off a bit in the water, wrap them back up. There's a hole in the top of your second hole and that's where you run this, this clothespin through uh, back through that hole and it'll keep your line tight and it won't come unwound that way. It's a good idea to rinse these off when you get back in fresh water and uh, maybe treat the particularly the oil uh, with a cooking oil or oil linseed oil or something just to keep it from um, rusting up on you. Uh, the other is this uh, double ring crab trap. Uh, it's a collapsible crab trap. I have it suspended here on a stick just to show you how it pulls up like that. I've, uh, we can buy these traps at some of the local net companies around here. Some people make them themselves. Uh, I've added some more of those lead balls down here in the bottom just to make sure that it gets to the bottom in the upright position and that, that again when sometimes when you're dealing with current it's nice to have that. This has the same uh, type of uh, clothespin diaper pen arrangement uh, bait holder. These are just ones that I've made for years out of uh, coat hanger wire. And they will rust after a while, but they're very simple to make and easy to replace. Uh, I just, I, I'm not, I make a loop at the bottom, a circle here. I'm not sure if you can see that very well with this. Uh, but that's just wrapping it around a, um, a, a broom handle, wooden, wooden dowel of some type. And then using your, your um, cutting pliers to make this loop and, and the little hook on the end to keep it. You slide your bait on there, slide it off. I just put them, attach them here with some tie wraps. Uh, usually I have two of those in the bottom. I don't know why I don't have this, this on this particular net, but generally I have one on one side and one on the other. Now if the crab are running, you gotta have a lot of bait in there because they take it pretty quickly. The nice feature of this, which was not doesn't come with the net, but I, I found a lady who's been crabbing most of her life at one of the control structures one time, and she was using this device, uh, which is nice for wrapping up the cord it's got a secondary benefit and we drill this hole in the upper corner like that. There's one on this end just to tie the uh, line off to begin with. And then up here we run this. Sorry about this filming here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. But um, run the cord back over the top and that stops your line from unwinding once you pull it taut. So what we do in, in many of the, the um, Areas that the wildlife, the, the, the national wildlife areas, we have the uh, 
uh, land the water control structures that exist have a nice boardwalk on the top of them. They're, they're made out of you know usually two by tens or two by eights. Uh, they'll be six to eight foot wide, and there's whatever the width of the of the particular uh, body of water that's being usually you know 50 to to 100 foot long. And so there's plenty of area for many crabbers to pull up there, tie their boats off on it, get up on the boardwalk, and then drop their nets side by side with each other. Uh, the nice thing about this is that you don't have to really tie your crab traps off. You just simply drop the crab trap in the water, unwind the cord, of course, before that. Then once you get it to the proper length, you just take this to the other side, the opposite side of the boardwalk, and, and tie it off, as I've done with this little loop here, and then drop it between the cracks in the boardwalk. And it, you know, when it tries to come back up, of course, this, this board will hit that crack and it won't come up. So. It doesn't require a lot of time trying to tie things off. You just, when you're ready to go, you strip your bait off your bait holder, uh, wrap up your cord, tie it off. Everything's nice and neat. These things stack, collapse real easy and stack, and pretty nice to put inside of the hole of a boat. Uh, you get home, just rinse them off, put them up, put them up, and you're good to go. Hope that's uh, been something you're interested in and, and find it useful here. Uh, we catch a lot of crabs in South Louisiana. We love to eat them and boil them and have them with family. Well, that's it from the Grumpy Neanderthal, signing off. Thank you.